My name's Jen. I'm originally from a little village in the middle of nowhere in Mid Wales called Llanfacaranion. When I was 19 and in uni, I became quite poorly and was eventually diagnosed with Hodgkin lymphoma, which is a cancer of the lymphatic system. As part of some of the symptoms I had, I was very, very tired, very run down. My immune system was low, so I was constantly sort of making up bugs and things like that. When I actually had my blood tested as part of my diagnosis, I was also very, very anemic, and the anemia was one of the symptoms of the disease. So I had the blood transfusion at the start of my treatment to sort of pick myself back up and put myself in a really good stead for the remainder of my treatment, which um, was a six month course of chemotherapy. So I think you need all the help you can get with that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, that's how I ended up having the blood transfusion. I remember being given my diagnosis. It was a really big shock. The first half an hour, just feel like your, your life is shattering because it's such a, it's kind of piece of news that really is going to fundamentally change your life and there's no way of sort of getting your head around that. So a big shock initially, but I've had so much support then and since from my family, friends, you know, everyone that I was in uni at, some work colleagues, it's all been fantastic. Looking back, it was quite a scary time, but could have been a lot scarier. I think my family cope with it really well actually very shocked but in a in a very odd way it kind of brought our family together a little bit and I think actually now we're actually a really strong family because they were so supportive I didn't ever give blood and to be completely honest it's something that looking back I actually really regret because I wish I'd actually had the opportunity to give a little bit before I actually got some stuff back I never gave blood because I, I sort of used that excuse of I was too scared of needles which is so ironic because I've had so many needles shoved into me since Unfortunately now, due to the illness and the treatment that I've received, I'm not able to actually go and give blood. But what would be really lovely if, if just one person heard about my story and was inspired to go and give blood, it would um, make me feel like I've given a bit back. I don't think it's until you actually become in a position that you or a family member needs the blood that you really appreciate actually what the service provides. And when you really think about it, it's a, it is a little bit of time, it is a little bit of uncomfort sitting there having a pint of blood taken off you, but that's ultimately potentially going to save lives. And I think that to actually go away and do that, the feeling afterwards must be really, really good. Um, and from friends and family that do give blood, they, they're really proud afterwards. And even just knowing someone who's, who's had a blood transfusion, they always sort of say to me afterwards, I'll give it a bit of your blood back today. <laughs> I'm feeling an awful lot better. I had my all clear in March of this year. And I wanted to help because I've personally received a blood transfusion and it just felt like a nice way of actually giving a little bit back. And maybe that actually sharing my story might inspire some other people to give blood. 